Hello everyone, this is Paul Maciel with Mobidar.com and I just wanted to talk about some free web design tools that you can find anywhere on the internet and that can help you design your website to where you want to get it. So the first tool I want to show you is an FTP client that I use called FileZilla. So as you can see I have FileZilla on my screen. It's a really good program that I use all the time and if I were to choose any FTP client it would definitely be FileZilla. You know it's fast, it's efficient, it handles a heavy workload. All right, the next tool I want to talk about is HTML color codes. Now, I found this really cool generator on the internet that offers a free service where you can generate your own color codes. Now, as you can see, this is a little HTML color chart where you can just click these standard colors and uh, automatically it'll generate this cool color code. Now, if you scroll on down to the bottom, you have an actual HTML color picker where it gives you more flexibility to choose a variety of different colors. So let's see if I want to scroll down and get a really deep blue, then I can scroll down here and blam, dark navy blue. Or let's say I want to get a really, really bright, like lime green. So I'm going to go up here and instantly, voila, there's my color code. Now let's say I was working on the, at an existing project and I had a color code that I wanted to see what the color was. So what I would do is I would right click and I'd paste my color code right here into this little insert color code option and press go then it would automatically find my color code so I know what color I'm looking at. Now this next website I want to show you is W3Schools. W3Schools offers a variety of different tutorials using HTML, XHTML, CSS, PHP, uh, JavaScript and a whole bunch of other uh, tutorials and what I really like about uh, W3Schools is if you're, not, if you're not used to using codes then It'll actually uh, show you some tutorials and then have some examples that you could test the codes in. The third service I want to show you is the Markup Validation Service. This service allows you to check your HTML and your XHTML for free. Uh, all you do is type in your address to your website. Okay, let's type my website in real quick. And you click on check. Or if you want to, you can upload a file to your website or directly input all your HTML. Now, what, what I like about this website is it allows, it checks your website for any errors or missing elements, and then it gives you a note at the end and at the end of the evaluation. This only takes like around 30 seconds. You know, instantly, blam, you'll have you'll have all these notes on different errors that you've made in your HTML code. Now the third service I want to show you is the CSS validation service. It's about, it's about the same as the HTML uh, validator, but it also does CSS. Now it's a really good tool. You can do the same thing. You can upload your uh, CSS file only. Now make sure it's just your CSS file. So you go to browse and you find your CSS file and you upload it. Or you can input your uh, CSS file directly. The last and the final tool I want to show you is Firebug. Firebug is a plugin you can only install to Mozilla Firefox. Now what this allows you to do is use entry level uh, tools such as uh, HTML, CSS editing live on any web page and it, it's really awesome you know if you check out my bottom of my screen I use this all the time you know say I go to someone's website I'm like wow they have a really nice layout I wish I knew how to do that but now with Firebug I can figure out how to do that because all I do is click the little Firebug logo on the bottom right hand corner of your browser and it actually brings up all the HTML and CSS this website contains so now I can be like oh that, that's how they do it okay or if I want to check the CSS I go to the CSS menu and I just click on they have two different CSS things on their page so I'm gonna go ahead and click on master and voila here's all their CSS their whole entire page I'm like oh that's how they get that little background grad over there so that's those are some really cool tools that I use all like on a daily basis that any uh, web developer or web designer should use every day. Now, if you want some more of these uh, tools in detail, you're gonna have to go over to our post at mobadar.com and check it out for the more information. I get really in depth with a lot of these tools and show you some cool tricks. So you might want to check that out. Again, that's mobadar.com.